Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making homemade chicken pot pies. Alright, I'm starting out with a large skillet. This is like a 20 inch or 22 inch. I'll turn my burner on. I have some boneless skinless chicken breast here. I'm going to add a few of these in. Okay, that should be good. Now to that I'm going to add some water. I'm going to add about four cups of water to this. I'm going to cover that. I'm going to add some uh, some salt. Not a lot for now. I'll add more later. I don't want to get too salty. About a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add some cracked pepper in there. I'm going to cover this, bring this to a boil, and then reduce the heat and let it slow cook for a little while. Alright, I left this cook on low after it came to a boil. It's been about 15 minutes. And I went ahead and I diced up four medium potatoes and one medium onion. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. Give this a stir. And I'm going to turn it back up to bring it back up to a medium boil. Alright, I allowed my chicken to cook a little longer, and I'm going to start shredding it up. Now, if it's still a little raw, don't panic because it'll cook more in the pot. So I'm going to continue to shred all this up and return it back into the pan. Just like so. And as this chicken cooks on slow, slow and low, it'll get more tender as it goes. Alright, I shredded my chicken up and I allowed it to cook a little while longer with the potatoes and onions. I'm going to go ahead and add in about two more cups of water to that. And I turn my burner up on high here to bring this back up to a boil. Now I'm going to start to season this up. I'm going to start by stirring in some chicken base. If you don't have chicken base, you can use like chicken bouillon cubes. Let's start with one heaping teaspoonful. And we'll see how that tastes. Give that a stir. And I know this is more like soup, but after it cooks for a little while, I'm going to thicken it up with some flour water, a little uh, slurry I'm going to make. All right, now let me give this a taste. Need just a little more. Stir that up. Decorate my stove top, but that's alright, I'll clean it then. Give this a taste. Okay, that's good. Now to that I'm gonna add in a little bit of thyme. Because everyone knows thyme and chicken are best friends. And that'll really make it good. And taste as you go. Make sure you get it all good. That's good. I'm going to add in some celery seed. You can also use fresh celery, but I don't have any on hand at the moment. A little more celery seed. All right. Now I'm going to add in some parsley. Parsley, parsley is pretty much just for uh, color. It really doesn't give much flavor. All right. 
add a little more pepper. A little more salt. Give that a stir and a taste. I'm also going to throw in one bay leaf. If you don't have bay leaf on hand, don't worry about it. That'll be coming out later. Now I have some frozen peas and carrots. I'm going to add these in. This is a, a bag I had laying around in the freezer. I'm going to use that up. And that looks like a good amount. I don't even need to use my other bag. I'll put that back in the freezer. Now I'm going to reduce this heat and let that cook for a few minutes. Covered to allow them uh, carrots and peas to cook through. All right, I let that uh, carrots and uh, peas cook for a while. Now here's that uh, flour and water slurry I talked about. And I ran this through a, a sieve to get the lumps out. I'm going to slowly stir this in. And what this is going to do is this is going to thicken this up and make it into a gravy. roughly about a little less than a quarter of a cup. Now I'm going to allow this to cook with the cover off because if I put the cover on it's not going to thicken right. Okay while my uh, chicken pot pie filling is slow cooking here I'm going to do my dry ingredients, my flour. I'm going to start with two, uh, two cups of flour. I'm also going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now this is sea salt, but regular salt will work just fine. And I'm going to add in one tablespoon, actually make that two, te two teaspoons of baking powder, which would be one tablespoon. stir that up. I'm just going to use a spatula to stir that up in there with so I don't make a big mess with the mixer. Get that all blended together. Alright. I want to start out on slow here. I'm going to add in three quarters cup of water. I'm also going to add in two eggs. All right. And then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of margarine. Okay, turn that back on. A little faster. Okay, my dough is done mixing. I'm going to spread a little bit of uh, flour out around my bowl, bowl, on my board, because uh, the dough is a little tacky. Go ahead and lay her out there. And I'm going to have to make more dough than this because this ain't going to be enough, so I'll just have to make another batch. I'm going to work some flour into this so it isn't so uh, sticky and easier to work with. Work some of this excess flour off to the side. Okay, and I'm going to break a little piece off of this. Just put that to the side for now. Okay. 
Now what you want to do is we're going to roll this out into like a quarter of an inch thick. You know, I have little 10 ounce custard dishes here. What I'm going to do is cut a square and make it a little larger than the dish because this has to sit down in there. Let me go ahead and spray that with a little cooking spray. I sit that down in there. Next one we'll have to make a little bigger. All right, my oven's up to temperature. I'm gonna scoop in a little bit of my chicken filling. All right. I'll cut the top. Lay that over top, and I'm just going to crimp this around the edges. And then trim off the excess. All right. You want to cut slits in the top so that this doesn't cook over the sides. I'm going to finish up the rest of my pot pies and when they're ready to go in the oven I'll be back. Alright, I got all of my chicken pot pies done. Now I'm going to coat them with an egg wash, which is just some eggs and a little bit of water. And what this is going to do is when, that, when they bake, it's going to give them a nice golden brown sheen. It's my damn cat knocking around her toy. All right, I'm going to place these in a 400 degree oven. And my guess it's going to take 20 minutes to a half hour until they get golden brown. And then I'll remove them. All right, I allowed these to bake for a half hour. Now I'm going to take them out of the oven and let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes to cool down and to set up. Because it'll be a mushy mess right now. Alright, there you have it. Hearty and wholesome homemade chicken pot pie.